What's going on guys? GeoSnow right here. So in today's video I have a beginner tutorial for the uh, Xcode developers out there who want to start creating iOS applications and in this video we're going to discuss about how you can use a slider inside your application and how you can configure that. So um, at first you need to of course download Xcode. If you don't have it already it's available in the description down below. Xcode is free and needless to say it only works on a Mac. So um, then we're going to open Xcode and have this interface in here. If you don't have it, you can also work with this part in here with this bit, but I have it. So um, you can create a new Xcode project by pressing in there. It's going to ask you what kind of project. So select iOS, select single view application for the moment and click next. So here we're going to configure the way the application will behave and its manifest. That's going to be the product name, the team, the organization, the bundle and the programming language in which you're going to do it. And also the devices. You can make it for iPhone only or for iPad only, or you can also make it universal, which is going to be our selection. The language can either be Swift or Objective-C. I'm going to, to show you how to do this in Objective-C as I'm, uh, I am teaching you as I learn. So um, yeah, it's definitely something that I, uh, I know better than Swift, so I'm going to show you in Objective-C. Now um, you can do it in Swift if you want, but it's going to be a different syntax, but there is absolutely no difference. I mean, the application won't behave better if you do it in Objective-C or if you do it in Swift. It's simply another language language to use. So the product name is going to be YouTube example. We're not going to buffer with a good name. Do not set anything to team yet. You're going to set that later. Click next and it's going to ask you whether you want to save it on a desktop or not. For the moment I'm going to create it on a desktop but if you have a special folder for, for your Xcode projects it's definitely recommended to put it in there. So for those of you who are for the first time in Xcode or who do not really know the parts of it, this is in here the attributes viewer where you can uh, configure or change var uh, variables of different components, for example, a label and so on. We're going to get into that. Here in the middle, you're going to see the code or the interface builder, or in this case, if you're on the uh, on this bit in here on the project, you're going to have the configurations of the project. Do not mind this uh, these two errors in here. They're due to the team because we didn't select a correct team that has a uh, pro provisioning profile. We're going to fix that later. And um, here you have the files. Of course, this is the button to compile and test your app. This is to stop the compilation. This is uh, also uh, giving you an insight of your icon currently. And in this case, it means you do not have one. And this is the target device. For example, you can select the device or you can select one of the uh, simulators the Xcode comes with. And if you do not have a device to test with, it's definitely recommended to use the simulator or if you do not have that specific device for which you're building. Now let's go ahead and see what files we have in here. We have the viewcontroller.m, which is going to hold all your code. Your entire application is going to be in here, unless you're of course creating new view controllers and so on. But the main view controller will have its code in here. And then you have the viewcontroller.h. H stands for header, and this will contain a lot of things. For example, the connections, IB outlets, IB actions, and so on. And um, we're going to get in that later. The app delegates are uh, also containing info about your application and things that um, the application will do after it finished uh, launching or after um, it did enter in the background, it become active again, or it got terminated and so on. We're not getting into this for the moment. It's not necessary. The main storyboard contains your um, your first storyboard, your main storyboard, containing the interface of the app. For the moment, as you can see, it's nothing in here, but this is where you're going to build your application. You can have more of this, of course, and connect them one with another. But for the moment, Xcode gives you a single uh, view, a single interface, so you can build in here. So here is the assets. Uh, folder. Here you can put your app icon or any kind of logos or apps or button, button masks and so on that we're going to use in the, uh, in the project. We're not going to work with this for the moment, but in the, uh, in the playlist I have in here, we'll also working with the interface, how to build a really good looking interface. So definitely check this out, this video in here, in order to see how we can work with that, how we can build an interface for it. And um, it's definitely going to, going to help if you want. Here we're going to get into the main storyboard and as I said this video is going to be focused a little bit on the slider. You probably know this kind of component is, um, is that one that you use for example for uh, controlling the brightness on your device or the volume, that's a slider. So how you add one to your application? Let's see we have this app but I want to add a slider to it. 
Well, we're going to search in here on the filter. You can make this a little bit bigger if you want. And here it contains a lot of pre-made components that you can use. Switches, text fields, progress bars, progress views, whatever, um, buttons, and also a slider. Drag the slider, put it in here. As you can see, it looks pretty default and uh, we want it a little, a little bit bigger. So click on that square and drag it. And I'm going to make it the size of the, uh, the screen, the width of the screen by doing this. And you stop like this. All right, but I want this uh, slider not to be looking, you know, iOS default. So you can change that thing by going in here to the um, attributes changer. And that's the main purpose of this part in here. It's going to help you to configure the class, to configure the uh, module, to also configure various uh, components of this slider and or any other components and the view and so on. I'm going to move in here into this, uh, into this knob and you have the value. So for example, if I want to set 10, it's going to make it um, you know, full because this is only accepting 10, for example, now. By default, it only accepts one. But um, if I change this maximum value in here to 100, as you can see, it can now allow 100. Now you set the scale depending on whatever you're using this uh, slider for. And the, max, the minimum is going to be zero and a maximum 100. This is okay. If you want a minimum value in here, for example, uh, you want an icon for the minimum, you can, you can make one in here by adding an image from the uh, assets. We don't do that for the moment. The same thing for the maximum. But what if you want to change the colors? Well, it's still possible to change the colors with min track and max track and the thumb tint. Now, for example, the min track is actually the line behind the knob in here. Let me try to to make this uh, value a little bit bigger so that you can see better the line. You can see it's blue by default, but if I want to change it, I can do that. For example, I can make it red. And as you can see, it's, it's no longer blue. And I can change this one that is gray in here as well to be something or a color that I like, for example, blue. And I can make it like this. So it's already a configuration, but you can also change the color of the knob itself by going to uh, thumb tint and selecting another color. You can, if you don't like the ones that are presented in here, or if it's not what you need, you click other, and you can select from this uh, palette in here, whatever color you want. And it shows you in real time how it looks like. I'm going to make it, um, let's make it uh, orange. And here you can set the opacity. You can see that you can set it uh, to lower or to very high. I'm going to set it somewhere to the, uh, 91, 92, like this. So now you have a slider that is configured that has a little bit of look to it, but you want to control something with it. Sliders usually do control something. In this case, we're going to control a, a value of a label. So we're going to add a label. You can search for the components in here. And uh, the first label is going to be called, double click on it to change its text, and it's going to be called current value. And we're going to click on it, click Control C, Control V in order to copy and paste it and create another one. Of course, you can use this one to also hold the value, but I'd rather create another one. Then I'm going to have it with zero and let's try to center them a little bit. We're not going to buffer with the constraints for the moment. We're just putting them in the center. Uh, but in, in my uh, other videos, for example, in this video in here, I also play with the constraints, which is the auto layout part in order to make this fit on all the devices because I'm going to show you, you have here the screen selector, but if you, if you select a smaller screen, as you can see, it's no longer on the, um, the correct size. You can fix that by selecting anything in here, in this case, and reset suggested constraints. Now, I'm going to go ahead in here, and as you can see, it does have a little bit of, um, of a look, but it's, it's definitely more to it. We're going to get that, to that in other videos. So we want to use this knob in here, and as we slide through the knob, we want to control the value in here, to increase it or decrease it. In order to do that, you need to press ahead in here on the circles, uh, hide this panel with the files, hide this panel with the um, attributes, and you're going to have this, um, this code in here. Click on the view controller and select the view controller.h, and resize your, um, your view in here. Then you're going to click on this uh, value label and while using your right mouse, mouse click, drag it and drop it in here. It's going to click to create a, an IB outlet that we're going to name it value holder, value holder, like this. 
So uh, you have it like this, and it, it created the uh, the property. It's called an IB outlet because it's present on the interface, and it's it can be controlled. Now, if uh, if you're going to create the same thing for the um, for the the knob, you know, in order to use the slider, it's going to be an IB action because it, it creates an action. We're going to to get into that later. Now, I'm going to also press on this one and using the uh, the right mouse button, drop it in here. I'm going to call it slider pretty basic and it adds the slider in here it's UI slider and this one is UI label the class right now you can click on view controller M and insert your code remove this commenting part we're going to insert it in view did load uh, in fact no we're not going to play with uh, view did load because it's actually a separate method so in order to to create an action for it you're going to press on the, uh, the knob in here with your mouse click, drag it and drop it in here. Do not drop it inside this view did load or inside this one. After the curly braces, you're going to drop it in here and give it a name. As you can see, it's no longer an outlet, it's an action. And um, we're going to name it um, slider again. Okay, and it creates an IB action slider. Inside the uh, curly braces of this uh, IB action slider method, you're going to insert your code. Now we want to control that um, that thing in there. So I'm going to I'm going to have to make a, a couple of conversions in here because the uh, the value of this knob in here, the value of this slider is going to be represented as a float number. So at first we need to make sure we convert that to an integer. To do that, we're going to write float and uh, we're going to have a new value called slider value which is going to hold the initial value and uh, I'm going to do that by writing equal opening this um, square basis and of course inside this we're going to call the slider sorry you're going to have to put this underline and select slider if it appears if it doesn't we're going to write its name then value we're going to close this with the uh, semicolon and of course now we have the value of the slider uh, which is going to be held by this float in here. Now we need to convert it uh, to integer. So we're going to have an integer called uh, final value, for example. You can, of course, name it differently. And it's going to be equal, have uh, this time normal uh, braces, ENT, which is integer, or integer, sorry. And another uh, brace that is going to be mm, the name of the slider value. So slider value. We're going to have the star in here and 255 five to create a, um, the conversion. Okay, close this with another um, semicolon and then we need to pass all these uh, this values, the final value, to the actual label. In order to do that we need to call the label, so with another underscore value holder, which is a label, of course, you, if you name it differently, it's going to be a different name. Dot text, which is the uh, the text of it. And then you're going to have equal, open the uh, square braces, and it's going to be an NS string. Okay, but it's not going to be a, a, a normal NS string. It's going to be one with string with format. Click in here. We're going to remove this bit because we do not need it. And we're going to write um, at and of course the speech marks. Inside the speech marks write this uh, in here and D. I'm going to explain in a couple of seconds, put a comma and write of course final value. So uh, after that you're going to need to put the semicolon, a any statement uh, is going to be ended with a semicolon in um, Objective-C. And let me explain a little bit what this does. So at first you have, you have to take the float value of the uh, slider, and then you have an integer conversion from that uh, that float, and then you're going to pass that value to the uh, value holder, which is actually the label in here. This is going to take the final value from here, and that's an, an NS string string with format. And this D in here is going to take the final value from here and update it dynamically to the uh, to the label as you slide through the uh, the slider. So let's see this in action. In order to, to see this in action, we need to um, close this one in here, re-enable all these that we have um, have got hidden in the past. So um, 
you're going to need to go ahead in here and set up your team. Now, if you did not already, you need to go to Xcode preferences and log in into your Apple ID. It doesn't have to be a paid Apple developer. It, it can be your Apple ID. I'm going to do that. All right, so I have uh, logged in into one of my uh, accounts and I have set it in here and it generated automatically a, um, a provisioning profile for it. So now I'm going to connect it to, directly to the uh, iPhone 7 emulator in here, to the simulator, because I don't want to connect my device. So I'm going to press this play button and if it's the first time you're running the simulator, it's going to take a while. So I'm going to be back. All right, so the uh, simulator has started. As you can see, it simulates perfectly the iOS and uh, this comes automatically with Xcode and your application has been installed. Uh, for default, it doesn't have an icon, so it's going to show you this, but if you set an icon, it's going to show you the icon. We're going to open it and as you can see, we can play with, uh, with the toggle and the toggle is going to, um, to control exactly the value displayed in there. Of course, you can change how much it increases, but as you can see, the code does work. So um, this is basically it, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this, um, this video. If you have any questions, uh, please drop them down below in the description. Subscribe to stay updated for more developer-related videos. And peace out.